started to refill this because my sister came in and I pushed the space bar and that shut the camera off instead of pausing the video, so that sucks, but hello, we're here again. I'm fixing my hair. Okay, we're done now. So, Riverdale season four. <laughs> I've been binging it for whenever it got put on Netflix, I don't know, a day or two ago. Maybe a little, maybe three days ago, something around that timeline. I don't really care. Um, but I've been binging it. Um, it's not as bad as people have been saying it is. I think it's actually pretty good. Sorry, I had to itch my head. Um, I will say that pe everyone's right. Like, there's so many, like, different plot lines. Like, every character has a different plot line. And the only way that they always, that they connect is because the characters know each other. That's like it. Not really much more to connect the plot lines. <sighs> so, first I'm going to speak about the first episode because it was a great episode. Um, so the first episode I thought was really nice because it was in um, memorial of the actor of Archie's dad. I cannot remember his name right this moment, unfortunately. Um, but that was a nice episode. They didn't start any of those ridiculous things that they later do in the season yet. They just paid attention to the actor's death and the character's death in the show and paid attention to how Archie was feeling and, you know, things like that. So that was nice. And I enjoyed the first episode. It was a lot less dramatic than it could have been. I keep having to fix my hair. It's really bothering me. Okay, so now let's move on to episode two, which has been, um, I honestly don't remember much of episode two, but clearly it started all the plots. Is that when he goes to the stone school thingy? I don't know. Anyway, oh, I don't know if I said this in this video, but, um, I'm on the, I haven't finished the whole season yet. But I have so many thoughts in my head that I'm just like, I gotta get them out on camera. So, um, so I'm at the part where Jughead's explaining to the Stonies how they did not kill him. <sighs> and also, their whole plan, pretty much. I mean, this scene could have been completely gone if they weren't in a television show. So... Trying to remember half of the things I said in the other version of this video. Okay, so we have Veronica. Let's start with Veronica. So we have Veronica. She's doing what she always does and just, you know, at war with her dad and sleeping with Archie. Um, and then, so she started like a maple alcohol business, which in my opinion seems kind of out crazed for a teenager, but we're gonna let that slide. Um, and then we have Archie, who doesn't have half bad of a storyline, actually. I think his is pretty good because he's just helping kids. He opened a community center, which had already been started in the previous season. So it's not like it just came from nowhere. It came from the previous season. Um, and so I felt like that made a lot of sense. The only thing with Archie's that was kind of like, what? was the vigilante thing, like, you're not Batman, dude. <laughs> so, that was a little more like, what is going on here? It was kind of like one of those things where you're just like, stop, just, just, just don't, please don't. And I will agree with everyone else, their wording and their speech is still just like, what? Like, it's still like, why are you saying that? Especially with Cheryl. We all know it's like that with Cheryl. Speaking of Cheryl, her whole, she's kind of just been everywhere this season. Like, they had given her a plot or a storyline, and then it, like, stopped, like, less than halfway through the season. So, then she was just kind of there. I might be forgetting things. I'm not really sure. But if I'm forgetting it, it clearly didn't stand out to me. Which either means it was just really boring or just was kind of there. So, her whole thing was a haunted doll her brother's dead body, which 
is probably the worst thing in this season is her brother's dead body like seriously man that's disgusting and creepy um oh and her killing her uncle or whoever that dude was that wasn't her uncle he was related to her in some way so well actually tony killed it but they can they covered up the murder so it's along the lines. That was also crazy. Basically, Cheryl is the crazy of this season. Like, she is the most crazy outlandish part of the season. So far, in my opinion. Sorry. I haven't gotten to the musical episode yet, though. So I don't know what's going on with that. It's probably not going to be good. Just like the past two ones. But I can't speak for it yet. Um, knowing me, I won't enjoy it. So... Um, so now we have Jughead, who's going to the one school. It's Stone something. I honestly don't remember what the rest of the name is. Um, but he got, but basically, his is, I will admit, his is kind of an outlandish plot. Um, but nothing I wouldn't expect for Riverdale, because they've done things like this before. Where it's kind of like far-fetched, but at the same time, you're like, mm, all right. And it's like a murder mystery still. They kind of had a murder mystery to it, just slightly, you know? Um, so that was nice. And the one thing I did note, though, was like, they could have done so many different things with Jughead's death. Um, I think Jughead really being dead would have been a cool part. Like, you know, him to just be dead rather than have him magically alive you know he pulled a Sherlock which they do shadow in the show um so I think it would have been more cool if they had you know made him dead in reality that would have been nice um and then that brings us to Betty so Betty doesn't really have much of a plot that I can think of I don't know if I'm wrong you can comment below um, the only things that really seem to be there is, is she going to be a serial killer? Is kind of what she's dealing with. She's dealing with the fact that she has some serial killer aspects to her. Um, and then she's just helping Jughead, which is, you know, they've been doing that since season one. They just help each other with mysteries. Um, I'm really tired. I haven't been getting enough sleep at night. So anyway, so far, I don't think it's as bad as people have been saying. I think it's just kind of one of those things where people have been saying it's, like, really bad, but it's actually not. Like, season two and three were pretty bad, I'll admit. They were not good. Um, season three, I think, is a little less... Or season four. Season, this season is a little less drastic than the last two, other than the dead body. Other than the Jason dead body. That is creepy. And just, like, straight up weird. Also, I'm not sure what's up with Cheryl's mom. I feel like her reasoning for pretending to haunt Cheryl is kind of like... It's kind of like, what? She doesn't really have Jason. She has Jason's dead body. So, I mean, we've known this the whole time. It's like crazy runs in that family, so... I, I just felt that was kind of weird. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I just felt that was kind of like... But anyway, um, overall, based, I have three episodes left. Riverdale can completely ruin themselves in those next three episodes. We all know it's possible. Um, but I have three episodes left. Three episodes that I'm just kind of like, why isn't this season done yet? I have been very tired these past few days, so... That is why I feel that way. Um, anyway, so as I've been saying, it's not as bad as people have been saying. I think it's it's just not horrible. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is brilliant, of course, because it's Riverdale. But it's not like this is a piece of crap. Well, not completely. So anyway, those are kind of my thoughts so far on Riverdale Season 4. I think it's pretty good. I would, so I would love to see them though, like switch up the couples in the show. Like I hope next season that 
is supposedly taking place five years later is what has previously been said so far. I don't know by the time. I don't know. Never mind. That sentence. Just delete that sentence. Um, so supposedly next season takes place five years later, which hopefully by then the writers will maybe have changed like couple wise and such. And like, I love Bughead. I think they're a pretty good couple. Like they don't seem toxic to each other. Whereas like you have certain couples in television where like everybody's like, yes, but it's also like, that's kind of a toxic couple. But, um, whereas like Bughead's not. So that's what I kind of enjoy about them. If you think they are, that's your opinion. Um, based on what I remember from the other two seasons, I'm not willing to rewatch those. Um, they don't seem really that horrible of a couple. But <clears throat> I still think it'd be fun to explore Barchi in the series. I think that would be really interesting. I've always been a Bughead fan since the beginning, but... And I know it's kind of cringy to say those ship names, but... It's just the easiest way to go. But um, I think they put them putting Betty and Archie together would be interesting. And I think it would have a lot of people who loved the original comics maybe make them more happy. Because I think that's how it was. I'm not really sure, honestly. I never read them. I did watch a couple of the animated episodes of that, though. Which was a million times better than, the telev than this television show. But, um... Anyway, I think that kind of wraps up my thoughts for Riverdale Season 4. Um, note, like I said before, I haven't seen the whole series. They still have time to ruin it, even more than it already is. So, we shall see. Um, I might post an update video on my ending thoughts to the series. I probably won't, but there is a very, very slight possibility. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want me to review other things, and if I review things, it's more than likely going to be after I've watched them and then I just tell you my thoughts on them type of videos, um, then I can. You can recommend me things. I'm always looking for new things to watch, I'll be honest, because I'm really bored and thanks to COVID, I've got nothing more to do. So, so if you want to recommend me things to watch, I will happily watch them. Well, maybe, depending on the plot line. But anyway, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting distracted. Okay, I hope you could hear me. I turned up my music because I felt like other people could hear me talking to a camera, and I didn't like it. Okay, so anyway, if you like this video, then, well, push the like button. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, I would recommend recommending me to do them because if you comment that you want more like this, that is completely possible. So, um, if you like videos like this, then comment them below and I will do them. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can. There's, so far, it's kind of just random videos. I do want to do a fashion video soon, but... I can't, I'm waiting for an item to arrive in the mail. So anyway, I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. And yeah. I'm gonna end the video, Sparrow.